Lord, my heart actually belongs to you. It is time for Class 1A, first round and first round consolations. Good evening, everybody, along with Roger Reed and 2007 West Delaware State Champion Zach McCool. I am Jamie Vasky, and we are getting set for Class 1A action. As the 1A wrestlers come in, we've concluded our Class 2A and 3A wrestlers this morning. And in this afternoon session, now the 1A wrestlers take the mat. And I tell you what, this place always gets a little bit fuller when the Class 1A schools come in. Roger, and uh, no different here tonight. Well, no, uh, 1A's got the most number of schools that since they, well, they all send the same number of wrestlers, but the most number of schools represented. So it's a great crowd tonight, full house, and it's going to be a very vocal house with uh, Lake Mills here and Don Bosco and Lisbon and and you've got some teams that wrestled here yesterday that uh, brought a full contingency. you got to throw Denver in there. It's just going to be a very competitive 1A class. We're going to have some great first-round matches tonight. And we're following, I believe, 11 1A wrestlers. And hopefully, Jamie, hopefully we just call 11 matches tonight, and then our session would be over. That would mean all of our guys won. So that would be a great deal. Zach, uh, I don't know how many years you've been here with us, but always good to see these teams come in here and, and seeing each class get in here for the first time. Yeah, absolutely. It's exciting for communities that come out here and support these wrestlers. Um, you know, th these 1A schools have great followings, and so the, the rest of them. Um, but you just see a little bit more schools in the 1A, and uh, you definitely can see people are up in the 300 section sitting, and, and 200s are basically full, and down below is definitely pretty full. So uh, it's good to see, um, and it's good to see all these wrestlers coming out here and putting it all, all on the mat. Well, before we signed off last night, I've been meaning to ask you this all day. Before we signed off last night, you mentioned uh, that I was supposed to go to your 5 a.m. workout class with you, and I said I would not go. How did that go for you? Well, Jamie, I had a little neck problem. Okay, that's all I need. That's all I needed to know. We're gonna, we're going to have our national anthem coming up here in just a little bit. We're going to come back with Heath Moyer here at 113 pounds. He's going to be taking on Jacob Winninger of Nashua Plainfield as uh, Moyer, a sophomore at 40 and 4, Whittinger, a sophomore at 34 and 10. Then we'll jump to 120. We'll keep an eye on Cale Happel of Lisbon throughout the tournament here today. He's going to take on Uvaldo Camarillo of Postville in the first round. Parker Sternhagen of Makokota Valley, he's wrestling at 120 as well. The freshman, 22 and 4. He'll be taking on Seth Thompson from English Valley's North English, who's a sophomore at 33 and 14. At 126, there'll be Nolan Noonan of Cascade will be taking on Trey Shuck of Sibley O'Cheaton, and Mitchell Hayes of Starmont, a senior, will be taking on Jacob McBride of Newman Catholic. We're going to step out for our national anthem. We'll be back with Heath Moyer at 113 right after this. You're listening to state wrestling coverage from KMCH Sports. Looking for a place to gather with family and friends? Your look is over. Gather your family and friends and head to the Hillside Sports Bar and Grill. Join them for some great food and sports before, during, or after the games. Best of luck from everyone at the Hillside Sports Bar and Grill. For the best selection of Chevy, Buick, and GMCs in the area, see Bob Stephen Motors in Manchester. We offer straightforward pricing and carry a low overhead, so we can pass those savings on to you. We also take care of you after the sale and offer a state-of-the-art service department with ASE trained technicians. For a full list of our inventory, visit us on the web at bobstephenmotors.com. Bayne County Disposal Incorporated specializes in commercial and construction disposal needs. They have a variety of containers available from 2 to 30 cubic yards. Whatever it takes, Bayne County Disposal Incorporated in Dyersville, serving Dubuque and Delaware counties. Easy Pickens, Quick and Handy, and McDermott Oil wish all area athletes and coaching staff continued success in tournament action. Stop into one of their stores for delicious Godfather's Pizza. Good luck from everyone at Easy Pickens in Manchester, Quick and Handy in Dyersville, Lamont and Epworth, and McDermott Oil in Cascade. Pete's Small Engine Repair are proud to support all the area athletes in tournament action. For all your small engine purchases, repairs, and rebuilds, call the small engine experts. Pete's Small Engine Repair. Congratulations from Pete's Small Engine Repair in Monticello. 
When it comes to financial planning, most financial companies focus on your income. At Northwestern Mutual, we focus on your outcome. It takes the right financial partner who cares as much about your future as you do, building a financial plan to meet your life's priorities and helping you achieve the financial security you're after. Focus on your financial outcome with Northwestern Mutual. Contact me, Mitch Payton, or Matt Schulte today. You and Northwestern Mutual, stronger together. Paladin Attachments is a blending of 11 brands joining skills and expertise to design and build the best quality heavy and light duty attachments in the world, giving customers powerful peace of mind. Join Paladin and Delhi and wishing all area athletes, teams, coaches, and fans the best of luck. The staff at Bowen Camp Murdoch Funeral Home and Cremation Services in Manchester and Clifton Murdoch Funeral Home in Earlville are proud to support all area athletes and coaching staff in tournament action. Wishing you continued success from Bowen Camp Murdoch Funeral Home in Manchester and Clifton Murdoch Funeral Home in Earlville. American Trust and Savings Bank wishes all area athletes and coaching staff continued success. American Trust and Savings Bank with locations in Dyersville, Farley, Dubuque, and Des Moines. Simply better banking. Check them out at americantrust.com. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. Beaton Bender Manufacturing Incorporated is a family-owned and operated business that has been a worldwide supplier of hydraulic shears and press brakes since 1972. Beaton Bender Manufacturing in Coggin is proud to support all area athletes and coaching staff. Sight and good vision is very easy to take for granted until it is taken away. Advanced Eye Care Associates of Eastern Iowa is here to help you. Advanced Eye Care Associates of Eastern Iowa, located at 225 West Main Street in Manchester and 1113 West 3rd Street in Vinton. This is Tyler, service technician at Gateway Appliance in Manchester. You just never know when your old appliances are going to break down. When they need repair, give us a call. We can fix most major appliances in your home. For sales, service, and installation, call us at 927-3200. Gateway Appliance, your exclusive Maytag Whirlpool KitchenAid and Amana dealer in Manchester. For residential, commercial, and farm lawn care, call Spring Green Lawn Care. They are licensed and insured. Call Duane for free estimates. Spring Green is your full-service lawn care company in Dyersville. Anderson is the leader in doors and windows. They set the bar high with high-performing, dependable, energy-efficient products for your renovation and building projects. Contact your local vendor, Delhi Lumber, at 922-2404 for all of your window needs. Delhi Lumber, your authorized Anderson Windows dealer. Big town quality with small town service. This is Dr. Tim Collier from Dental Associates of Manchester. We take pride in the environment we provide our patients with a caring attitude and unsurpassed comfort. For the kind, compassionate, and competent dental care you deserve, call us at 927-GRIN. Dental Associates of Manchester, creating healthy smiles for life. Skogman Realty would like to congratulate all area athletes and coaches on a successful season and wish you the best in tournament action. For your real estate needs, contact Christine Baldwin, your local Skogman Realty agent in Manchester at 920-9194. Jay's Auto Supercenter in Manchester has quality pre-owned vehicles, great financing options, a full-service department, body shop, and detail department. See their full line of vehicles online at jsautosales.net. That's Jay's Auto. Customer satisfaction is their number one priority. Jay's Auto! Hi, this is Jamie Baskey at Don & Walt LLC, your independent Lennox dealer in Manchester, encouraging you to plan ahead. Have us check your heating or air conditioning unit before you need it for residential or commercial plumbing and heating needs and top quality Lennox furnaces and heating units. See Don & Walt LLC on East Main Street in Manchester or give us a call at 927-2232. For all of your auto, home, health, and life insurance needs, it's American Family Insurance Tad Mormon Agency on East Main in Manchester. Best of luck to all the area athletes and coaching staff from American Family Insurance Tad Mormon Agency in Manchester. Your dream is out there. Go get it. They'll protect it. Family fun and great food await you at Lightning Lanes Family Center and Captain and Tennille Sports Bar. Come out for a fun night of bowling or watch the big game on their 10-foot HD big screen. And of course, great food and your favorite beverages. Lightning Lanes Family Center and Captain and Tennille Sports Bar on East Main in Manchester. Hey area athletes and coaches, my name is Brooke. I am cheering you on the sports season. Krugman Construction would like to congratulate all area athletes and coaches on a successful season and wish them continued success in tournament action. For all your building needs, call Krugman Construction in Manchester. Farmer Savings Bank proudly supports all area athletes and their coaching staff. For all your banking needs, visit them in Colesburg, Elkport Garber, Strawberry Point, Arlington, and Aurora, or online at FarmerSavingsBank.com. Member FDIC. 
Beofield is your headquarters for all your seed, chemical, and fertilizer needs. They have professional service and quality products needed to bring the best crop to market. Beofield, providing growth opportunity for 18 locations across northern Iowa and southern Minnesota. Animal Health Clinic wishes all area athletes in tournament action the best of luck. Dr. Virgil Boric with the Animal Health Clinic in Dyersville has been serving the area since 1982, tending to the health needs of animals large and small. Animal Health Clinic, 1657 15th Avenue, Southeast in Dyersville, open Monday through Friday, 730 until 5, Saturday, 730 until noon, or call them at 563-875-6083 to schedule an appointment. The Eastern Iowa Shopping News and the Dyersville Commercial recognize the hard work and dedication of all area athletes. Check out the weekly sports section in the commercial for scores and information. The Eastern Iowa Shopping News and Dyersville Commercial, supporting your communities. Edgewood Feed Mill wishes all the area athletes good luck in tournament play. Edgewood Feed Mill, where improved nutrition and modern technology produce healthier food for healthier living. Edgewood Feed Mill, your full feed and grain service and U.S. feed dealer in Edgewood. For fan food, not fast food, visit your after-the-game headquarters, Manchester Dairy Queen. It's quick, it's easy, your family will love it. Manchester Dairy Queen. It's no secret that people come to Fairway in Manchester for their famous meats, but as you dash back to the counter to pick up your USDA choice ribeyes, don't be surprised if you find yourself lingering among the delicious fruits and vegetables in the produce department. Shop Fairway in Manchester for low prices and all your grocery needs. DNS Portables would like to wish all area athletes, teams, and coaches the best of luck in tournament play. They appreciate all the hard work and dedication put forth in the gym and the classroom. Good luck from DNS Portables in Dundee. Head to Fireside Pub and Steakhouse before or after the game or anytime. Featuring steaks, seafood, pasta, sandwiches, and even fresh made pizza. They say it's the best around. Visit them on the web at firesidemanchester.com for a full menu and special offers. Best of luck to all our area athletes, teams, and coaches from your tax professionals at H&R Block in Manchester. Nobody gets more of your money back than Block. Visit them today to get your maximum refund. Guaranteed. Based on maximum refund guarantee, not everyone gets a refund. For details, visit H&R Block at 1208 West Main Street in Manchester. Just like a great coach, State Farm agents like me, Julie Smith, can help you develop a game plan for your insurance needs. Whether it's car, home, life, health, or business insurance, I can dig into the playbook and help you find the affordable coverage you need. For all your insurance needs, call on a winning team, the Julie Smith State Farm Agency in Manchester. Stop by Dyersville Comics and Games, your local comic book and gaming store today. Gaming events go on daily, and there is a great selection of comics and games to choose from. It's definitely worth a stop. Dyersville Comic and Games, located on 2nd Avenue Southeast in Dyersville. Best of luck to all area athletes and coaches on a successful season. Hi, this is Chris Henry, service manager of Brown Sales and Leasing in Elkader. Our goal is to make your car buying experience the best possible, and our factory certified technicians are dedicated to you and your vehicles. Stop in and see us at Brown Sales and Leasing in Elkader, or visit us online at 4browns.com. Your hometown dealer, wherever your hometown may be. Best of luck to all area athletes and coaches. Kramer Brothers Dairy Supply in Monticello appreciates all the hard work and dedication put forth in the classroom and in the gym. Best of luck to all area athletes in tournament play from your dairy experts. Kramer Brothers Dairy Supply in Monticello. Highberger Insurance in Epworth and Heritage Mutual Insurance handle a variety of insurance products serving Dubuque and surrounding eastern Iowa counties. Working together with neighbors, helping neighbors remains their focus. You can rely on Highberger Insurance of Epworth and Heritage Mutual for all of your property and liability insurance needs. Proud supporters of the Western Dubuque Bobcats. At Three Rivers, our customers come first. Your business is very important to us. Our goal is to provide you with the best products and service that you have come to expect from Three Rivers. Visit our website at threeriversfs.com or the location nearest you. Three Rivers, your partner in growth solutions. Riker Shoes is your specialty shoe store in Dyersville. They carry women's shoes to size 13 and men's shoes to size 18. Riker Shoes open Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday, 9 until 5.30, Wednesday, 9 until 1.00 and Saturday 9 until 4, and evenings by appointment. Best of luck from Riker Shoes in Dyersville. And back into the Wells Fargo Arena, Jamie Vasquez, Roger Reed, and Zach McCool back along with you as 
We're ready for Brock Henderson. He will be up. Brady Henderson. Excuse me. This is Brady Henderson. He's going to be up on mat number eight. Uh, uh, let's try Heath Moyer. <laughs> I just saw Larry Henderson, and that it, for some reason it's neither Henderson. It's Heath Moyer at 113. Roger. Well, we are underway. Somebody's wrestling. Somebody is wrestling. We've got uh, Heath Moyer, the fine sophomore, and uh, Jamie. We, we saw him win the uh, Benton Community Invitational. Um, we knew that uh, he was going to be capable of doing some things here in Des Moines. He's 40 and four, and having a fantastic season. Taking on Jacob Whittinger from Nashville Plainfield, who's 34 and 10. Whittinger, short and stocky for 113 pounds, looks fairly muscular. Long, lean Moyer. Moyer now has got a two-on-one to the left side of Whittinger, and Whittinger is going to underhook. Underhook uh, Moyer. Moyer is going to shuck and pass and pick up two. There's a re-switch. There's two and two. Moyer with the takedown, and Whittinger with a two-point reversal as Moyer tried to adjust himself on top. Whittinger hit a switch and covered, the, uh, covered him up. Now chicken wing by Whittinger on the right side of Moyer. And Moyer's got to punch that right arm free, and Whittinger's got to cut him loose. Three to two now in favor of the sophomore from North Lynn. 58 seconds left to go. Moyer very tall. Whittinger very short and stocky at 113. Moyer in a staggered stance leading with his left leg. There's a deep single by Moyer. He's in deep. He's got the right leg of Whittinger. Whittinger in a, in a shin whizzer. Trying to keep uh, Moyer from picking him up. Now, a reverse spin by Whittinger. He goes on top of Moyer. Moyer's trying to cast himself around Whittinger. Good scramble situation. Whittinger on top of Moyer. Moyer's going to high leg over Whittinger. Whittinger's going to get his hips up. But Moyer's going to pick up the two points out of the scramble. Not yet, as Whittinger's still scrambling out of it. They're going to go off the edge of the mat. What a scramble, Zach McCool, by two outstanding 113-pounders. It was, once again, nice job by the referee right there, not calling early two there because nobody was in a stop position at any time there. Just kept rolling across the mat until they finally got out of bounds. Well, that was a great shot by a Moyer. Good counter by Whittinger. Now back on the restart. Whittinger takes a long shot on Moyer. Seven seconds left. And, and Moyer with the reshot of Whittinger. Whittinger's going to come back up to his feet, take a two-on-one on the left arm of Moyer. And we got a very action-packed first period as it's two-to-two. Two. So it's going to be uh, Moyer's choice. He's got the green ankle band on. He's going to defer over to Whittinger, and Whittinger will choose down. Boy, that was a great scramble by both of us. It was a great shot by Moyer. Good counter by Whittinger. Now we're going to see what happens as Whittinger goes down. Moyer's going to lock up a chicken wing on the right side and try to stack Whittinger up. As he had Whittinger going forward, now, Whittinger's going to back over that wing. He's going to try to roll through it. Whittinger's going to try to roll through the wing. And Moyer's going to pick up. Boy, I thought he was going to have some back points there. Roly poly Jacob Whittinger there. You think you got him on his back, and he just rolls right through. I've never seen a guy want to roll through a wing. But he tried. And uh, Moyer's being very, very physical with the chicken wing. So he got it locked up on the right side of Whittinger. Now Moyer jumps over to the right side. He's going to try to take a big step. He's got an inside wrist with the left and a chicken wing with the right. Winger's trying to punch that right arm forward. And Moyer's going to walk around the head and try to run the chicken wing again. And Whittinger will pop his head up. And that will stop Moyer from circling his head. Count. Now boy, Whittinger rolls through the chicken wing again. Might have a two-point reversal here. Boy, oh boy, slippery, slippery plainsman from National Plate for a Husky from National Plainsfield. I tell you what, he, he rolled right through that chicken wing, Zach, and I wouldn't recommend that, but it worked for him. Yeah, he's got some serious hits on him that just keep rolling through, heavy hits that keep rolling right through there. It's pretty tough to roll through a, a chicken wing, but uh, he's definitely doing it right now on Moyer. Well, back to action we go, 26 seconds, and... Jacob Whittinger is up four to three. Four to three. Very physical. Two very physical sophomores here. Again, short, stocky, squatty body of Jake Whittinger. He just looks like a baby bulldog out there. Long, lean, Heath Moyer. Now Moyer with a nice stand-up. 
Lingers over the top of the head of Moyer trying to lock up a cradle. That's going to drop in on a single. Switches over to a double. Hard cross face by Moyer. Moyer's going to pick up a one-point escape, and we're tied up. Four to four with six seconds left. Lingers going to drop in on a duck under. High leg over by Moyer. Trying to pick up a two-point takedown. Another scramble situation as time runs out. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. It's going to be Moyer's choice as he will choose down to start the third period. They both got some crazy hips going on right now. They're just hips flying all over the place. He's rolling across the mat once again. Um, they both know how to scramble. Over on mat number four is going to be Kale Happel from Lisbon taking on Uvaldo Camarillo of Postville. As that is Happel, ranked number one. Camarillo ranked number six in Class 1A. And Winninger, Jacob Winninger from Nashville, Plainfield has... Moyer belly down. Now he's going to lock up a chicken wing of his own on the right side of Moyer. Moyer's going to get to his feet. There's a cradle by Whittinger, and Moyer's got to roll through the cradle, and he's going to come out on top of Whittinger with a two-point reversal. He's got Whittinger on his back. Let's see if he got the two count. Yes, he did get the two count. Whittinger's got to roll through. It's going to be a two-point reversal, two-point near fall for Moyer. He will go up now 8-4 to four with 116 left to go. And Jacob Winnegar out in front of Moyer again, trying to pick up a one-point escape. Moyer trying to follow him around, trying to stuff his head, getting some coaching from Larry Henderson in the corner. Front headlock now by Moyer. Short drag attempt by Winnegar, and he's going to get two back with a reversal. 55 seconds left to go, and Winnegar is going to cut Moyer loose. And it's now 9-6. to six. 49 seconds left to go in the match. There's a two-on-one by Moyer. Winninger goes over the top of the two-on-one around the head. Uh, Moyer, Moyer's going to drop in on a single scramble situation uh, once again as Moyer's latched onto the left leg of Jacob Winninger, and he's holding on. He's burning some clock right here with 32 seconds. Might get a stalemate right there. Good position for Keith Moyer to be in right now. So he's going to elevate Jake Winninger right now. And Winninger's going to go over the top of Moyer and grab his, left, his right ankle and try to roll through. Winger's going to try to come out the back door for a two-point takedown, and Moyer's going to scramble through it, and now we'll get a stalemate with 11 over, seconds. Over on mat four, Kale Happel quickly out with a 10-3 to lead. We're still in the first period. Up on mat number five is Parker Sternhagen from Maquoketa Valley taking on Seth Thompson from English Valley's North English. There's a two-point takedown, no points. There's a scramble situation between Sternhagen and Thompson. Still no points. There's a great scramble by those two down there on mat number five. And Jamie, Keith Moyer is going to win this match, this wild and crazy topsy-turvy match, 9-6, to six, and he will advance to the quarterfinals tomorrow. Great job for the Linkster. Two-point takedown over there on mat number five for Seth Thompson of English Valley. As Thompson coming in here at 120 pounds. He is not ranked. I thought I saw him ranked earlier, but not ranked as he's got a two-point takedown on Sternhagen. In the meantime, Kale Happel has picked up now a few more points. He now leads 12-3. to three. Sternhagen in a short sit now, and off the edge of the mat they go. So Thompson, Thompson will get reset. He's going to ride the left side of Sternhagen with 46 seconds left to go in period number one. Short set out by Sternhagen. And Thompson's going to follow him with a tight waist, now a head lever. Tight waist with the left. Switch attempt. Switch attempt by uh, Sternhagen. And Seth Thompson's going to jump sides and stop the switch. And uh, Thompson's got some very long levers, long legs, long arms for a 120-pounder. He's got a is uh, right arm wrapped all the way around the waist of Parker Sternhagen with a tight waist. And now he's sitting on the left ankle of Sternhagen. Sternhagen finds himself belly down in the center of the mat. And, Zach, you got to get your hips up and get moving. Yeah, absolutely. The referee talking to him right now, kind of just facing out, uh, not getting to all fours. And that's going to be do it for the first period. It's going to be a 2-0 lead for Seth Thompson, the sophomore from English Valley. And over here, Kale Happel now builds a 14 to four. Make that three more, 17 to four lead with 35 seconds left to go in the second period over Uvaldo Camarillo. As 
30 seconds left to go in the second period of that match as Sternhagen starts his second period. Then he opens up with another long switch, and Thompson with a tight waist is going to counter that, counter that switch with the re-switch. And uh, good strategy there by Sternhagen getting his hips out. Got to keep moving. Once your hips are out, keep them moving. And finish the switch. He's doing a great job keeping the hips out. Now a stand-up. Good hand control by Sternhagen. He's going to split the hands of Thompson and score one. It's now 2-1 to one with 31 seconds. Well, excuse me, with a minute 30 left in period number two. That's on the Johnson Dragon mat, the purple, the purple mat to our far side. <clears throat> two to one's our score. Neutral position. Seth Thompson from English Valley's Parker Sternhagen now with the slide by. He's going to cut the corner on Thompson Aww. and off the edge of the mat. Good quickness by Sternhagen. Kale Happel with a 19 to four technical fall over Uvaldo Camarillo. So the top ranked Lisbon Lion moves on to the quarterfinals. He'll take on Casey Baker of Interstate 35 Churro. Well, back to the center of the mat we go with Sternhagen and Thompson. Under a minute now, 59 seconds left to go in period two. We are in neutral position. I think if uh, Sternhagen steps on the gas here a little bit, gentlemen, he's got an opportunity to score this first takedown. There's another slide by by Sternhagen, and off the edge of the mat they go. Thompson and Sternhagen. Very long, lean Seth Thompson from English Valley, 33 and 14. Parker Sternhagen, 22 and 4, having an outstanding freshman campaign for the for the Wildcats. 37 seconds and counting, neutral position. Sternhagen and Thompson. Thompson now working a two-on-one tie. He's got the right arm of Sternhagen tied up. Sternhagen trying to free that arm by circling to his left. Under, under 20 seconds now in period number two. Hard collar tie by Sternhagen. Thompson's going to try to drop in on a single. Now reshot by Sternhagen right on the edge of the mat. A lot of action and no points to show for it. Yeah, Stern, you know, Sternhagen right in this match, you know, only, you know, he only trails two to one, but you, you've got to get going here and try to score with short time in the second period. Well, five seconds left, and Sternhagen tries to duck under as time expires, and it misses the mark, and it's going to be Thompson's choice, and he will choose down. Very opportunistic and defensive-minded Seth Thompson from English Valley. And he's going to choose down. Sternhagen will start on the right, quickly goes over to the left. Now back to the right with a tight waist and a chop. Thompson to his feet. Now standing switch by Thompson. Sternhagen's going to pick him up and drive him off the mat. So we'll go back to the middle for a restart. Two to one is our score. And we're going to get a caution for Sternhagen for starting just a little bit off. He's on the right side, but he was more to the left side than he was the right side. So Thompson's going to come quickly to a stand-up. Nice lift and front trip by Sternhagen. Still 2-1, to one, 146 to go. At some point, you're going to have to try to turn him if you're Sternhagen. And if you can't do it, Jamie, you're going to have to cut him and try to win this on your feet. Yeah, I mean, you got a minute and a half left to get going. So, uh, l- like you said, there he's going to cut him loose. So now he's got to go to work on his feet, try to tie it up with a takedown. Well, pushing the tempo, he's got a minute and a half here. That's plenty of time to pick up a couple of takedowns. But you gotta, you got to start uh, creating some motion, creating some distance. Thompson now is going to tie up to the head of Sternhagen. Sternhagen with a retie, collar tie. 116 and counting. Long shot by Sternhagen. Doesn't clear the arms of Thompson. Thompson's going to brush him by. And back to action we go. Sternhagen with the collar tie with the right. High crotch with the left. Reshot now by Thompson. He's going to get in on the hips of Sternhagen and pick up two and cover him up. Now an inside wrist. Inside wrist by Thompson on the right side. On the right side of Sternhagen. And Thompson's going to be content to ride Sternhagen right on the edge of the mat. So 47 seconds left. Still plenty of time if you're Parker Sternhagen. you got time for... For reversal and back points would tie this up. Five point move. Five point move by Sternhagen would get him right back in the match and give him the lead. He's got 37 seconds left to go. 37 seconds left to go in this match. He's down five to one, so he's got a sense of urgency right here. Sternhagen to his feet. He's going to split the hands. 
Thompson let him go. Opportunity here for Sternhagen. It's 5-2. to two. Well, Four point move here would give Sternhagen the win. 19 seconds. Something feet to back. Used to call that victory offense right now, Zach McCool. Under 20 seconds. You need your victory offense. Absolutely. He's got to go forward and give everything he can right here to try to launch him, get that five point move, but it's pretty hard to do when your opponent's shooting and just got taken down at the end of that period to make it seven to two. Yeah, Sternhagen tried to throw, uh, tried to throw Thompson and off the edge of the mat they go as time's expired. That's going to be a hard Hard fought, seven to two loss. Over on mat number two, it's going to be Nolan Noonan of Cascade. He's taking on Trey Shuck of Sibley O'Cheaton. And now Mitchell Hayes will take the mat for Starmont at on mat number six. So that was seven to two. Was that the final? Seven was to Stern two. Stern falling in that match? Yes, indeed. So I had the right idea there, Zach. Go to that victory offense, and he just uh, came up just a little bit short on that throw. It ain't there. Uh, excuse me, uh, Nolan Noonan still scoreless over there in the first period. Minute and a half left to go in the first period of that one. And again, Mitchell Hayes of Starmont coming to take the mat on mat number six. He's taking on Jacob McBride from Mason City, Newman Catholic. Jacob McBride is a junior. He's 43 and one. Mitchell Hayes will have, to have his hands full here with the junior from Newman Catholic. Not real physically physically looking that Jacob Bride. Mitchell Hayes has a great engine, a great motor. He's got a lot, lot in the tank. We'll see if he can up tempo this match and do a great job of uh, staying with it. Hayes and McBride going at it on mat number six right in front of us. College tied by Hayes. McBride now in on a shot. Nice down block by Hayes. McBride's going to drive Hayes off the edge of the mat. Coach Munger, Coach Augustine in the corner here for their lone senior. Sweet single attempt by McBride. Nicely counter reshot by Hayes. Just misses the mark. Now shot a single by Hayes. He's in deep. Nice underhook by McBride. Brings Hayes back up out of the hole. Over here, it's a two-point takedown for Nolan Noonan as he goes up two to nothing on Trey Shuck from Sibley O'Cheaton. Again, Shuck coming in here ranked number nine in the state in Class 1A. A lot of flurry of action right here. A lot of hand fighting. 109 left to go. In period number one, Hayes in on a collar tie. Snap down by McBride. Hayes is going to bounce back and retie McBride. Inside control by Hayes. Hand control now by Hayes. A sweep single attempt by Hayes to the to the right side of McBride. Front headlock by McBride trying to cut the corner on Hayes. Now a wind up and a whip through. No points there as McBride is behind Hayes trying to lift and return. Off the edge of the mat they go. Good defense by the senior from Sharma. Neutral position we go. I think Hayes thought he was taken down there. 43 seconds. Good hand fighting by Hayes. McBride doing a great job working the head. There's a tap and go by McBride. And once again, the hard wizard by Hayes is going to bring McBride up off the, off the single. 30 seconds and counting. Hayes, Hayes working the collar tie. Now another shot by McBride. Hayes is going to have to take a shot here at some point. High cross now by, by McBride. Hayes over the top. Hard cross face by, by Hayes. He's going to come up out on top. If he hooks the ankle, he's going to have two. He's got to get his hips up. He's got the ankle of McBride hooked. Let's see if he can pull himself up on top. He's got nine seconds. Might be two points here. He's got the ankle hook. McBride's hanging on to the right knee of Mitchell Hayes, and that's going to do it for the first period. And over there, first period over, it's a 2 nothing lead for Nolan Noonan. He will choose down to start the second period, again leading 2 to nothing on Trey Shuck of Sibley O'Cheaton. Our uh, officials are talking right there. That might be a two-point takedown for Mitchell Hayes, and it's going to be no go. It's going to be Hayes' choice. He's going to defer over to McBride, and McBride will choose down. Mitchell Hayes right in the position where he wants to be right now. 0-0, zero, zero, holding off the 43-1 and one McBride in period number one. Hayes will ride the right side quickly to his feet as McBride. Hayes will drop in and pick up a single and back to McBride. And now go to a tight waist. There's a standing switch by McBride. Hayes might end up giving up a two-point reversal here. He does as McBride cuts the corner on Hayes, and that goes up 2-0. And Nolan, Nolan Noonan with an escape here. He goes up now 3 to nothing with a minute 20 left to go here in this second period. The stand-up by Hayes. McBride drops it on a single, a hard whizzer. Hard whizzer now by Hayes, and McBride's going to drive him off the edge of the mat. 
So Hayes will get a restart. Down 2-0 with 129 left to go in period number two. Here's a shot attempt by Shuck as he hits a sweep single. Noonan with a nice down block, but coming in and splitting the legs of Noonan is Shuck. One minute left to go, second period. As Noonan now finding himself, and he's going to come around the backside. He just did a high leg over, but now back into that same position as coming in through the legs is Shuck. 3 nothing. Nolan Noonan with the lead here with 45 seconds left to go in this second period. And now come, trying to come around and score here is Shuck. Nice job. Great scramble between these two at 126. As Aiden New- or Nolan Noonan, excuse me, now sitting on top. And then we're going to get a potentially dangerous with 34 seconds left to go second period. Mitchell Hayes still down 2-0. to zero. Now we're going to get Stalling against McBride for riding parallel. Hayes with a couple of short sit-out attempts. And uh, not able to not able to clear the arms of McBride. Hazel will turn a restart here as McBride gets called for stalling. Now cross body ride by Jake McBride. McBride trying to set up a cross face cradle on Hayes. Hayes got to have some hand control here. McBride trying to lock up the cradle. Hayes doing a great job fighting fighting hands. Now cross body ride by my, by McBride. He gets very high. Hayes up on all fours. Hayes trying to shake McBride off. Now power half Nelson on the left side. Crossbody right on the right, power half Nelson on the left. McBride trying to set up a cradle, trying to lock up a cradle. Hayes has hand control as he takes the arm over his head. Let's see if he can step down hard, kick the leg free, and score one. McBride's going to drop in on a single. Five seconds left to go. There's got to be a one-point escape right there for Hayes. That's got to be a one. Very good. Hayes' choice in the uh, third period. And over on mat number four, it's Brady Henderson trailing two to nothing. With 38 seconds left to go in the second period, I didn't even see him get hear him get called or see him come out to the mat, but he trails two to nothing. Nolan Noonan over there on mat two with an eight to two lead now. As Noonan with an escape, two escapes and a takedown in that second period. Now another takedown here to start the third. He goes up eight to two. And Mitchell Hayes is going to choose down to start the third period, and kind of where you want to be, Zach. You're down two to one. You scored an escape. And now uh, you're wrestling tough right here. 141 and counting McBride on top of Hayes, right in a tight width, tight waist with the right, a chop with the left. Here comes a hard cross face by McBride from right to left. Over over Hayes trying to lock the cradle up. Hayes is trying to make himself wide. Good hand control by Hayes, keeping McBride from locking up the cradle. Hayes might be able to get to his feet here. McBride locks up the cradle, and he's going to get back points right here. Over here on map four at the end of the second period, Brady Henderson got up, kicked his leg out, and got one point. So now it's two to one. Morfield from Lisbon is ahead of Brady Henderson. And Nolan Noonan still leading eight to two over there in the third period, just under a minute left to go. And Mitchell Hayes has some work to do. He's got a minute left. He can somehow get to his feet. Jake McBride, very tough on top of the cross face. We saw that... Uh, Talked about that this morning. A guy that's got a tough cross face. You got to keep your elbows out wide and keep your head up. 39 seconds left. Mitchell Hayes down 5 to 1 over Jake McBride from Mason City, Newman Catholic. And McBride trying to throw a cross body right in on Hayes. Hayes doing a good job with hand control. Now, a tilt attempt by McBride. Hayes going to come to a stand up and try to clear the hands of McBride and score one. And McBride comes right back to a leg and a cradle. And Hayes will have to stretch forward and break the grip of McBride. 15 seconds left to go in the match. And now we're going to get stalling, stalling against McBride. And the Newman Catholic coaches are beside themselves there. It's 5-2 to two now. 13 seconds. Now we're going to get a caution against McBride. Over here, Aiden Noonan, or Nolan Noonan. Yeah, quit messing those two up. Nolan Noonan with an 8-3 to three lead as there's an escape over there by Shuck. Five seconds left to go. Noonan looks like he's going to hold on as they go out of bounds with two seconds left to go in that match. So it looks like Noonan is going to advance. Here on map four, Brady Henderson on top of the third period uh, gets a cheap tilt on the side, side of the mat and looks like they're out of bounds and they gave him two points. So he goes ahead three to two with 58 seconds to go. And Nolan Noonan is going to win that match eight to four. So he will advance. He'll take on Kobe Seabrick of Lisbon in the quarterfinals tomorrow. And Mitchell Hayes will lose that match by a score of five to two. So we will see him back in about an hour 
He wrestled a whale of a match right there, losing to 43-1 and McBride from Newman Catholic. So he'll have to come back in the wrestle back. Henderson's still up on here on mat number four, riding tough on top of his opponent from Lisbon. Um, there's only 23 seconds left here to go in this match, so he's got to continue to keep him down, working hard here, and do not let him up. As Mitchell Hayes' opponent coming back is going to be Trey Tay Van Dyne from Wayne Corridon. Jamie Vasky, um, Brady Henderson right there just had a bar arm and actually went to a chicken wing. He got called for stalling when he was trying to run it. So he, uh, the match did stop, and uh, he did get called for stalling here. He's got 10 seconds left, and it looks like he's going to take more fit fell to his back. He's in good position here with five seconds left to go. Three to two, the lead, and it looks like Henderson's going to win that match. He'll hold on and win three to two. So Henderson advances. He'll move to the quarterfinals. He'll take on Blake Abrahamson from Okaboji in the next round. So a lot of action, and I think we're finally caught up. As uh, And then short, before too long, we'll have Max McGraw. So we'll have Max McGraw coming up here. We'll take a short break. Come right back with Max McGraw right after this. You're listening to state tournament coverage from KMCH Sports. Citizen State Bank, your locally owned, community-minded, and customer-oriented bank, is here to serve you. Choose one of their seven convenient locations in Winthrop, Monticello, Manchester, Ryan, Strawberry Point, Hopkinton, and Nubiana. Citizen State Bank, community banking with people you know, member FDIC. Back into the Wells Fargo Arena, Max McGraw up at weight class 138, taking on Zach Willie of Interstate 35 Trail. As Willie ranked, oh, I just saw it, he is ranked number four in the state in class 1A. And he's 45 and four, and he is a senior. McGraw coming in as a senior, also 29 and 10. So McGraw comes right out, takes a long shot on Willie, and Willie comes right up with a double underhook, and McGraw takes another shot on Willie. So I guess you're going to wrestle the number four ranked wrestler in the state. You're going to get after with a couple of good shots and let him know you're here to, you're here to mean business. Another shot by McGraw, and now an underhook by Willie. Underhook by Woolley on the left side of McGraw. He tried to drop in on a single to the right side. McGraw, nice nice job by McGraw to snap the head down of Woolley. And we are back on our feet. Woolley still has the underhook on the left side of McGraw. McGraw blocking him off of his head. Now Woolley gets his head over on the same side of the underhook. Tries to drop in on a single. 123 and counting over and under. Throw or be thrown by both wrestlers. Now Woolley's going to drop in on a single on McGraw and try to pull in that left leg. And back trip McGraw, probably pick up two right there. And that was the case where Woolley just stayed with the shot. That's a tall, lanky 138-pounder, Zach. That is. I like the way that McGraw's coming out here, though. He showed a lot of faith. Hopefully he can keep this up for the entire match. Then there's a stand-up by McGraw. Woolley will drop in and pick up a single. Nice job of... Nice wizard by McGraw. He's going to put some weight on that leg, step down, and cut, cut himself free. So one point escape. It's now two to one. Now two to one in favor of Zach Willey from I-35. And McGraw on the prowl once again, attacking, trying to attack the legs. McGraw with an overhook this time on the left, on the right arm of Willey. McGraw's got a really good fireman's carry from underneath. And uh, Willey's, Willey's doing a good job keeping, keeping his legs a long way away from the reach of McGraw. Now Willie with the front headlock. He's trying to go from left to right. And McGraw doing a great job staying square and controlling that right elbow. Nice sit out turned in by McGraw to his feet. No points there. There's an ankle pick by Willie. And he's going to try to cover up the hips of McGraw for a two-point takedown. That's not a two-point no. takedown. Good, he waved it off. Thank you very much. No two points right there. Boy, he gave him two, and then wiped it off quickly as McGraw came out of came out of the scramble. So nice job by Max McGraw to fight out of that ankle pick. Here comes an over and under by Willie again, and we're going off the edge. Great first period for Max McGraw, down two to one. 
It's going to be his choice. He's going to defer over to Willie. And Willie's going to go neutral. Jack Willie will go neutral on his feet. We're waiting for the 145-pounders. We've got a couple of them that we're following. Neutral position for Willie. There's the whistle. There's a duck under by Willie. Hip toss attempt there by McGraw. He's got an overhook on the right side of Willie. Tried a little hip toss. And uh, maybe he's going to hit that hard. Might have had some potential. There's a neck wrench by McGraw. Willie went in on a single with his head to the outside. McGraw hit him with the neck wrench. Willie bounced up off the mat. Now back to neutral. Willie drops in on a single. Hard wizard by McGraw. Wizard with the right. As Willie's trying to free his left arm. Now Willie stands up. He's got the right knee of Max McGraw up. He's going to drop in on a double. No points yet as, as uh, McGraw still got the wizard in on Willie. And he's going to try to roll Willie through and see if we get a stalemate. I'm not sure what we're going to get out of here. Now we're going to get a two-point takedown right there. As, as at some point McGraw had to bail out of that wizard, he'd have, he would have ended up on his back, Jack. Yeah, he had the arm wrenched all the way clear behind his back to keep that wizard in there. And eventually he had to, you know, bail out or else you're right, he's going to go to his back. So four to one lead now for Zach Willie. As McGraw will get set back in the middle of the mat. And Willie will ride the left side, quickly pop over to the right side. A tight waist with his left, a chop with the right, inside wrist with his right. Trying to load up a tilt. McGraw doing a nice job keeping wide. Keep himself wide underneath. 31 seconds left to go in period number two. Willie up on top with a tight waist. Now an inside wrist on the right. Tight waist with the left, inside wrist with the right. Now half Nelson with the right. McGraw gets to his feet, peels the half Nelson off, and misses the point as Willie shoves him off the edge of the mat. 19 seconds left to go, so plenty of time for Max McGraw. It's going to be his choice in the third period. See if he can score a point here and cut this lead in half. He's in a tripod stand-up trying to get all the way to his feet. Spiral ride by, by Willie. Spiral ride with the right, claw ride with the left. There's a Granby roll and a high leg over by McGraw. Might pick up a two-point reversal here. No change of position at all for a nice move, nice flurry. Referees are going to talk about a one-point loss of control, but I don't think it's going to be as Willie ended up with a reverse cradle. The officials are still talking. And let's see what they decide to award Max McGraw one point. And that's going to be a one point for McGraw. <laughs> nice job by McGraw. Cut the lead in half as time expired. Now it's going to be his choice in the third period. The referee's conferred. Got a loss of control. McGraw picked up one. He'll choose down. Now sit out turning by McGraw. Picks up another one. Four to three. And McGraw's going to take a long double shot. Double underhook by Willie. Using that length. So an headlock now by Willie. He scored with this the last time he ended up in that position. Willie now with an underhook on the left side of McGraw. McGraw's going to get his head over on the left side and block off the underhook. 136 and counting. Time for one good shot by Max McGraw. Got to get an angle. Somehow you got to get an angle to Max McGraw. Yeah, he can't keep shooting. He can't keep shooting straight on, and he gets kind of hits a little sweep to the right side. His right, left side of the right or the left side of Willie and now a scramble situation yes, for McGraw. McGraw. Well McGraw's through the legs of Willie. If he can keep his head up and elevate Willie he might be able to come out the back door, but Willie on top of McGraw right now. Willie reaches back and grabs the left ankle. That should be potentially dangerous right there. Thank you very much. Great shot by McGraw. And a counter counter by Willie. And we got potentially dangerous. We have seen some pretty crazy positions here over the last few days of not knowing how they got there and where they're heading. Right back to action we go. 50 seconds, plenty of time for Max McGraw to, to uh, load up one good shot and finish it. Zach Willie again, ranked number four, 45 and four. Max McGraw giving him everything he's got with 38 seconds left to go. 
McGraw trying to measure Willie. Willie with a hard collar tie trying to keep McGraw. Shorter stock here, McGraw trying to keep him away. And you got 28 seconds, Zach. You got to pull the trigger at some point. Yeah, it's time to go. It's, it's time to maybe hit a blast double or something. So hopefully he can get out there and get this done and with only 21 seconds left. they got a sense of emergency. There's the fireman's carry. McGraw's got a good one. Outside, outside single, head to the outside. Willie over the top. And I think it's going to be a two-point takedown for Willie as McGraw could not get up and get his right arm around the waist of, of Willie and block him up. McGraw giving everything he's got here to try to score two to get back in the match. It's going to be a hard fought six to three win for Willie. That's a great match by McGraw. He's going to lose it, but a lot of fight, a lot of heart, a lot of guts right there. Absolutely. As uh, as uh, we're going to have Chance Downs right back there on that mat there, but for McGraw, he will move to the backside. He'll take on Marvin Hildreth of West Monona Whitting. Coming back in this, uh, he'll, we'll see him yet again tonight, but uh, yeah, that was a tough match. You talked about him giving everything he had, and he did that. Took a night, had a nice shot, and Willie just had a perfect counter for it at the end of the match there. So now he's uh, he's got to come back and wrestle once again. But now we're going to move to 145. It'll be Chance Downs of Makoka Valley taking on Bryson Freeberg of Tri Center. Well, Downs is a sophomore with a 40 and 11 record. Freeberg is a sophomore with a 37 and 11 record. And uh, we'll see if Chance Downs can get himself on the winner's side of the bracket at weight class 145. Two on one by Downs. He's got the, he's got the right arm of Freeberg tied up. Freeberg's going to back out and through that right arm. And I'll take a long shot on Downs. And now back to the feet. They both go. Neutral position. First round action. 1A wrestlers taking the mat. A lot of great action here. In 1A, there's a long shot by Freeberg, but off the edge of the mat, he goes with a long double shot. Back to the center. Downs is going to lower his level. Goes right back to work on the right arm of Freeberg with that two-on-one. Freeberg is, is using his left arm to keep Downs away, and Downs does a nice job using that two-on-one. Going to create some motion with it, maybe set up a short drag off of it or drop in single. And off the edge they go one more time as Freeberg is in reverse gear. As a sophomore Wildcat, applying a lot of forward pressure with that two-on-one. Collar tied by Freeberg, underhooked by Freeberg. Freeberg down on one knee. Tries to reach for the leg of, uh, the, the right leg of Downs. Now duck under attempt by Freeberg. Downs is going to have to back up. And a restart. Back to the middle of mat we go. 46 seconds and counting. 0-0 zero, zero on the scoreboard. First round action. Underhook by Freeberg, double underhook by Freeberg. Now Freeberg will drop in on a double. Got Downs off the mat. It's going to be a two-point takedown for Freeberg as he got uh, Chance Downs reaching Zach, and then he just dropped in on the double. Yeah, he really got his pressure back into him, and so he he shot that double right right when Chance was stepping forward. So uh, good shot by Freeberg, and hopefully Chance Downs can can find a way to get out and get a point before the end of this first period. Well, 19 seconds left to go in period one. Downs up to his feet. He tried to split the hands of Freeberg. The Freeberg front tripped him back down to the mat. Now Freeberg with the chicken wing in on the left side of Downs, trying to take a big step, seven seconds. Chance Downs going to his back. Freeberg got a 1,000 count. Now 1,002 count. Freeberg's going to get two near fall out of it as the period expires. The Freeberg will go up four to zero into the second period. Also, 145 will be Braden Nunnemaker from East Buchanan. He'll be taking on Nate Briggs from Bedford Lennox. All right, uh, Freeburg will choose down to start period number two. Downs will start on the right, quickly pop himself over to the left side with a hard, tight waist. Now, nice job by Downs. Tight waist, cross wrist tilt on Freeburg. Got a 1,001 count, and Freeburg rolled through. So Downs will have to set that back up. It's a good way to get back in the match if you're good at those tilt situations. And a chance Downs almost got two. He's got to load that tilt right back up. Freeburg's now up on all fours, and Downs is going to drive him off the edge of the mat. Good action by the sophomore from the Valley trying to get back in this match. 
Freeburg will get set. Dallas this time will start on the right side. And he'll stay on the right side. Now he's going to pop over to the left as Jeff Freeburg fell down. Nice breakdown by Downs. Downs with an inside wrist on the left. Now he's going to try to set up a ball and chain. Ball and chain tilt. Might have some back points there. He's going to get a two count. That's going to be a two-point near fall for Downs. He cut the lead in half right now, four to two. Let's see if he can set it up one more time. Got plenty of time to hit that tilt again. Four to two now. Great job, great action, great hip position by the Wildcats from the Valley. 104 counting. Freebrook set. I think on match seven, yep. Jamie, is that Nunnamaker? Yep, Nunnamaker's over on seven. All right. And he's going to be taking on Nate Briggs from Bedford Lennox. 5.52 seconds left. Downs on top. Riding Freebird, trying to set up a tilt again. Hard chop with the, with the right. Tight waist with the left. Trying to set up that tight waist tilt. And he set it up for two. Now Freebird's going to... Freeburg's going to try to find the edge of the mat as Downs tries to load him up on his hip. Over on mat number one now, it's going to be Killian Welsh from Edco as Welsh will be taking on Saxon Lyman of Eagle Grove over on mat one. So three in a row here going up as Nunamaker on mat seven taking on Briggs of Bedford Lennox. Chance Downs, four to two trailing. On Matt 3, and now we're going to have Killian Welsh of Edco taking on Saxon Lyman of Eagle Grove. The short set by Freeberg, and uh, Chance Downs did a nice job getting himself back out to the side. Tried to snap back Freeberg, and Freeberg wisely covered up. Downs again working hard on top, and that's going to do it for period number two. And we'll see whose choice it's going to be. It's going to be Chance Downs' choice to start the uh, third period. He's going to be in great position. Here's Nunnemaker with a fireman's carry, and he's going to pick up a two-point takedown on Briggs. Almost caught him caught him on his back, and now a long switch attempt by Briggs. Nunnemaker's going to cover, and he's going to near the edge of the mat. He leads it two to nothing. Now up to his feet is Briggs. They go out of bounds with 132 left to go in the first period. Chance Downs with a stand-up, and Freeberg dropped in on a single and pulled Downs off the edge of the mat, so they will get a restart. Downs now with a hard switch, and Freeberg's going to sag and control the hips of Downs. And he slides to a stand-up by Downs. He's going to try to turn and face off Freeberg, and Freeberg will shove him off the edge of the mat. Still no score on Matt one with Welsh and Lyman. Uh, there's a minute 13 left to go in the first period of that match. Well, Chance Downs back up to his feet. We're going to get a stall in here pretty quick on Freeburg as as uh, Downs four to two. He's down four to two, and uh, he's giving it everything he's got right now. Up to his feet several times, but no points to show show for it. Downs back to his feet and a foot trip by Freeburg. Downs back up one more time. He's going to try to turn and face Freeburg. And Freeburg's going to drive him off the edge of the mat. Into the first period, two to one lead for Braden Nunemaker as he will choose down to start the second. Downs back up to his feet. Now he's going to try a side roll on Freeburg. He's going to come out the back door for a two point switch. Side roll with the hip ice and a two point switch there for Downs. Picked up a, a reversal. It's tied up at four to four. That's a chance, Downs. Go back to work on that tilt and see if you can win the match. He's got an inside wrist on the left. He rolled it out to a bar. He's trying to set up a farmer. Oh, Nunemaker to his feet. He's going to throw Briggs to his back. He's going to get a one-point escape. It'll be 3-1 to one and a potentially dangerous as he had the arm trapped, and our official's going to call it. So, no point. It's not going to be a, a misconduct. As Nunemaker, no, it, I don't think he never. He just called it potentially dangerous. So Nunnemaker should be good if Briggs were not to continue, but he's down on the mat right now on mat seven is uh, Nate Briggs at Bedford Lennox. Still no score over there with Killian Welsh and Saxon Lyman. Second period we go, as we'll see somebody, we'll have to see who chose neutral to start the second period over there. 
Chance Downs has 10 seconds to turn Freeburg, and this thing is going to go to OT. Freeburg belly down and playing the turtle, not letting not letting Chance Downs load, load up those tilts. And we're going to go right to overtime. Chance Downs, a great job getting back into this match. We'll see who's got something left in the tank. Killian Welsh over there on mat number one has been in on several shots, and it's just unfortunately been on the edge of the mat every single time he's been in there. So see Killian, Killian Welsh come to the center of the mat and get, get a takedown there. Well, overtime we go, four to four, slide by attempt by Downs. He couldn't quite get the corner as Freeburg squared him off. 41 seconds and counting, sudden death right here. Short drag attempt by Downs, underhook now by Freeburg on the right side of Downs. Freeburg will drop in on a double, and off the edge of the mat goes Downs in a down block. Freeburg slow back to the middle. 31 seconds left to go. Downs looks pretty fresh right here. Freeburg a little slow coming back to the middle. I think a hard hard head snap by Downs and a double. Zach McCool could win this match. There's a long shot by Freeburg. A snap and spin by Downs. He's got it right there. Snap and spin by Ch- Chance Downs. And he's going to win this 6-4. to four. What a great finish there by the sophomore from the Valley. And Nate Briggs up over on mat number seven, so they will continue. It was Killian Welsh's choice to start the second period, and he, he did choose neutral. Just 30 seconds left to go in the second period of that match. All right. Runemaker and Briggs back to neutral position. Runemaker up by a score of three to one into the second period. A low sweep single by Nunemaker, and he's in deep with it. He's got the right leg of Briggs posted on his shoulder. Now back trip by Nunemaker. A switch attempt by Briggs and a hard tight waist by Nunemaker. As he's got uh, chicken wing on the left side, now a half Nelson on the right. Might be potentially dangerous. There's a stand-up by Briggs. He's going to turn in the face of Nunemaker. Nunemaker in a bear hug. He's got an inside trip, Briggs, to, the, to his back. And Nate Briggs is taking a beating here, courtesy of Braden Nunemaker. Over here on Matt one, uh, the score has not changed with Killian Welsh and Saxon Lyman from Eagle Grove. It's still 0-0 going into the third period. Left 59 seconds left, and a short sit turn in by Briggs. Nicely countered by Nunemaker. Now Briggs back to a stand-up. He's going to step behind Nunemaker. He might have a two-point reversal here. Our official's going to stop that for potentially dangerous as Briggs got up and stepped behind Great Nunemaker. And it was uh, Lyman's choice to start the third, and he goes down to start the third period. Minute 30 left to go. In this third period, still scoreless with Welsh and Lyman. Greg Nunemaker up 5-1 to one now. Stand up by Briggs. He's going to score one point. It's 5-2 to two now with 35 seconds left to go. And we're going to get a stoppage. I'm not sure why. I've got injury time on Briggs. And uh, they're going to check. They're going to check. I don't, think, I don't think they're going to let him continue here. I think the official's calling it. Lyman over there, Killian Welsh got too high when he was riding it over there on Lyman from Eagle Grove, and he ended up coming out the back door and getting two-point reversal, and now he's got um, Welsh almost over on his back with a butcher, and he's getting... And it's, it's going to be an injury going to be an injury default over there on Matt 7, as uh, our official uh, making the call there said, doesn't think Nate Briggs is... All right there, so it's going to be an injury default win for Braden Nunnemaker. So he will advance on into the second round. Is that Kelly Walsh on his back? Yep. Yes, it is. And there's the fall. Fall for Lyman That's in five Lyman. minutes and 34 seconds. So in 534, Killian Welsh goes down by fall, and he will bump to the back side. I'm sure it's not the way the uh, senior from Edco wanted to wanted his first match to go, but he's going to have to come back, regroup himself. And, Jamie, we talked a lot about, you know, you, you, you're in a tight match like that, and you end up losing it, and you have short time to flush it because you got to come right back 
in a, in a do or die match. Yeah, and you you know not a lot of time to you have no time to think about that match, and you got to uh, you've got to like you said, come right back, forget about that one, and um, and come right and, and just get ready for your next match. Is uh, for Killian Welsh. Not sure who that's going to be yet. As uh, we'll see if Kilberg. Kilberg is up eight to nothing for Lisbon, so he may take on that match is over now. And it was a eight to nothing win by Caden Kilberg of Lisbon. So that the next opponent for Killian Welsh will be Drew Ventiker from Bedford Lennox. So we are going to wait all the way up to weight class. 182, and it'll be Quentin Reckimer from North Glen. So we will take a short break, and we'll come back with Quentin Reckimer right after this. As you're listening to the 2018 Iowa High School State Wrestling Championships from KMCH Sports. Production Services in Dyersville and Worthington excited to announce that they will be moving to their brand new facility at 2245 330th Avenue in Dyersville sometime in March. Good luck to all area athletes from the winning teams at Crop Production Services in Dyersville and Worthington. This is Jamie Vasky, the voice of the West Delaware Hawks, and I've had the chance to review the Good Neighbor Society's playbook, and I gotta tell you, they are friends in your neighborhood, designing plays to get you home fast. If you need help getting back in the game, contact the Good Neighbor Society Rehab to Home team at 563-927-3907. All Seasons Auto Body in Monticello specializes in body repair and painting on all makes and models and works with all insurance companies and offer lifetime warranty. Open Monday through Friday and Saturdays by appointment. Best of luck to all area athletes in tournament action from All Seasons Auto Body in Monticello. The Edgewood Reminder is proud to support all the area teams in athletic action and appreciates their efforts in the classroom and during sports. Check out all the sports photos in each week's issue of The Edgewood Reminder. The Woodland Eye Clinic offers high-quality eye and whole-body nutritional supplements that will help maintain a lifetime of healthy vision. The Woodland Eye Clinic, proudly serving Dyersville, Alcator, West Union, and Guttenberg communities. Holtz Construction are proud to support all area athletes. They recognize the time, effort, commitment, and training it takes to accomplish goals, both in the gym and in the classroom. For all your ag construction needs, Holtz Construction in Manchester. Milestones Group is a long-established Manchester CPA firm with services such as tax preparation and planning, accounting services, and business consulting. Everyone at Milestones Group wish all the area athletes, teams, coaches, and fans the best for a successful season. Delhi Insurance Agency is dedicated to Delhi and the surrounding area, and they thank you for choosing them for your insurance needs. See Larry, Sue, and Christy for all your insurance needs, from home to commercial and everything in between. Delhi Insurance Agency in Delhi. TriVet Associates is a mixed animal veterinary clinic with offices in Farley, Dyersville, and Holy Cross. Our eight doctors serve the Dubuque, Manchester, Guttenberg, and Cascade areas and provide veterinary services to both large and small animals. For more information, find us on Facebook or visit our website, trivetinc.com. Brew and Brew is more than just a coffee shop. They serve breakfast, lunch, cupcakes, and more. Check their Facebook page for all of their upcoming events. Good luck to all area athletes from Brew and Brew in downtown Dyersville. HiTech Communications is your local service provider for telephone systems, fire detection, audio, video, security and surveillance systems, wiring, and more. HiTech has decades of experience in the industry. Contact HiTech at 563-927-4936, online at hitechcommunications.us. HiTech Communications, changing your world with technology. Simon's Grain and Feed wish all area athletes and coaching staff continued success in tournament play. For all your feed and grain needs, see the experts at Simon's Grain and Feed, locally owned and operated in Manchester. Are you looking for great food and a unique atmosphere? Then make Okaboji Grill your next lunch or dinner destination. Or enjoy two-for-one happy hour every Monday through Thursday from 4 until 6 p.m. That's Okaboji Grill, 1749 Golf Course Boulevard in Independence. Okaboji Grill, where good friends meet. When selecting the right tire for your vehicle, you want choice. Bobin Tire and Automotive Service in Manchester gives you choice with the top tire brands available today. For the tire choice you want and the service your vehicle needs, see Bobin Tire and Automotive in Manchester. Open Saturdays for your convenience. 
Susie Meyer with Exit Realty has been serving Lake Delhi and the surrounding areas with all of their real estate needs. Call Susie with Exit Realty. She has a proven track record and is ready to work for you. Good luck in tournament action from Susie Meyer with Exit Realty. Cooper's Place and Ryan are proud to support all area athletes and coaches in tournament action. They understand the hard work and dedication put forth in the gym and in the classroom. Best of luck for Mike and his staff at Cooper's Place and Ryan. Whether it's an orthopedic, sports, or occupational injury you are suffering from, Regional Medical Center Therapy Services has you covered. With a customized treatment program, Regional Medical Center Therapy Services can get you back on track in the active game of life. Regional Medical Center, excellence in healthcare, close to home. Insurance is a contract to protect what you value the most, whether it's your auto, home, business, health, or even your life. AAA and People's Insurance Agency have been protecting all of your assets for years. So please call your local licensed AAA agent at Mormon Insurance Agency, a member of People's Insurance in Manchester, for a free review of all of your insurance needs because trust is everything. This is Phil from Gateway Appliance, your exclusive KitchenAid, Maytag, Whirlpool, and Amanda dealer in Manchester. If you're building a new home, remodeling, or just need to replace an old appliance, we have the selection that you're looking for. Find us at gateway.biz or give us a call at 927-3200. We deliver, install, and service everything we sell. Community Insurance is proud to support all area athletes and wish them the best of luck in tournament action. For your auto farm business and home insurance, Community Insurance in Edgewood, go teams! Leonard Muller Funeral Home and Crematory wishes all the best to the athletes and appreciates their hard work and scholastic efforts throughout the year. For personal, caring service, Leonard Muller Funeral Home and Crematory in Manchester, Edgewood, and Strawberry Points. Ace Body Shop has moved to a much larger location. They will continue to offer the same services, plus they have a new state-of-the-art paint booth. Good luck to everyone in tournament action from Ace Body Shop, now located a quarter mile north of Manchester. Hey KMCH listeners, GMB is proud to support our area athletes and help bring the sport to you. The GMB Bank team reminds you whatever your financial goals, we're here to help you reach them. Stop by our Manchester location or visit us online at gmbbank.com. Member FDIC. Going above and beyond is a standard of care at Above and Beyond Home Health and Hospice Care. Their compassionate staff care deeply about the comfort of their patients. A nurse is available 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Above and Beyond Health Care, the more they care, the more beautiful life becomes. Proudly serving Jones, Jackson, Johnson, Lynn, Clayton, and Delaware counties. At DuPaco Community Credit Union, we know debt happens. A debt checkup from DuPaco ensures it's not costing you more than it should. With historic low interest rates, now is the time to bring your loans to DuPaco. Contact us at 563-927-6187 or visit dupaco.com. Rudenkopf Tiling Excavating and Directional Drilling do tiling, waterway reconstruction, fabrication, excavating, septic, directional drilling, and basement work. Good luck from Rudenkopf Tiling Excavating and Directional Drilling in Manchester. The Manchester Press is your community newspaper. Check out the sports section for game stats and photos of area players and game highlights. The Manchester Press, serving the area for over 130 years. Come to the Palace in Dyersville for great food, cold beverages, and friendly atmosphere and help cheer on your favorite teams. The Palace in Dyersville wishes everyone in tournament action the best of luck. Go teams! At Precision Collision, we are committed to providing you with high-quality auto body repair and paint refinishing. Our expertly trained technicians can repair all accidental damage and get you back on the road in no time. Come visit me, Jeff, for a free estimate. We are located along Highway 20 at the Delaware Turnoff. Precision Collision. One call does it all. Quality guaranteed. Honey Creek Storage has storage units in all sizes, portable containers, pay online, plus security cameras to protect your property. Good luck in tournament action from Honey Creek Storage. Go to honeycreekstorage.com for more information. Great food and great fun with friends. That's what's waiting for you at Beaver's Lounge in Manchester. Check out their Thursday night bucket of wings special and Friday night fish special. Beaver's also has a different lunch special every Monday through Friday. Beaver's Lounge on the corner of Main and Madison in downtown Manchester. Leave it to Beaver's to show you a good time. Angela Weinkoff with Russell and Russell Insurance in Anamosa wish all area athletes the best of luck in tournament play. Just like the area coaches, Russell and Russell Insurance can come up with a winning plan just for you. Edgewood Oil Incorporated carries all major brands of lubricants and case oils. They carry a full line of industrial oil products, aviation oils, and antifreeze, Excel brand lubricants, quality oil priced right. Edgewood Oil also carries methanol, mineral spirit, and washer fluid and are a direct distributor of Camco brand lubricants. Edgewood Oil Incorporated in Manchester, open Monday through Saturday. 
Newhouse Construction and Concrete is proud to support all our area athletes. Give Phil a call at 927-5178 for your commercial, ag, or residential projects. Or visit NewhouseConstruction.com. Newhouse Construction and Concrete turns design into reality. Sode's Green Acre, located in Guttenberg, offers a fun shopping experience for the entire family. Retro candy, unique gifts and toys, gourmet foods, coffee and tea, top shelf spirits, craft beer and wine, plus a cafe with full bar service. Sode's Green Acre in Guttenberg. Find them on Facebook. In sports as well as banking, numbers mean everything. Athletes strive for excellence during competition. F&M strives to exceed clients' expectations. Whereas athletes and teams focus on the score, F&M focuses on the success of our valued clients, one relationship at a time. F&M Bank, the right choice, member FDIC. Winter Blocker does all custom and specialty processing and third-party labeling. Stop at the Winter Blocker for a large selection of quality beef, pork, and lamb. Good luck from Winter Blocker. Visit them at winterblocker.com. Just like you take pride in your vehicle, we take pride in the service work we provide. This is John from Georgian Auto in Manchester. Whether it's routine maintenance or major repairs, we'll take care of your car and get it back on the road. Georgian Auto in Manchester, where complete automotive service and repair is our complete focus. Bramey Drug provides fast, convenient service from a professional staff. Enjoy off-the-street front row parking and drive through window to make dropping off and picking up your prescriptions a breeze. Caring beyond prescriptions. Bramey Drug on East Main in Manchester. Best of luck to all area athletes from your friends at Pets Allowed in Independence. Your pets lodging, grooming, and training specialist for 17-plus years. Contact Pets Allowed at 334-7387. 334-PETS. Independence. For all your general contracting needs, turn to the professionals at Lucky Building Service in Manchester. For commercial, remodeling, and building, and new home construction, call the experts. Lucky Building Service in Manchester. 563-927-5677. You may not wear glasses or contacts, but how do you know if you're seeing your best or if your eyes are healthy? Why not be proactive and get your eyes examined? Dr. Daniel E. Mersch and his professional staff at Manchester Family Vision can help. Call 563-927-3682 to schedule an appointment. Manchester Family Vision Center wishes all the local sports teams best of luck this season. Manchester Family Vision Center on West Main, where clear vision begins with healthy eyes. This is George Davis from the Law Offices of Loker and Davis in Farley and Dyersville proud sponsor for our local youth as they develop confidence, character, and teamwork in high school athletics and learn lessons that last a lifetime. Best wishes to all our local students. We are cheering for you. Loker and Davis Law Office is located in Farley and Dyersville. GSI and New Vienna Ag Automation committed to quality and dependability. They grow with you with their full line of grain bins, dryers, and accessories customized to fit your needs and maximize profitability. Count on the winning team of GSI and New Vienna Ag Automation. Clayton Drug and Strawberry Point is more than just another pharmacy. They also carry many gift items to choose from in their retail store. Best of luck to all area athletes from Clayton Drug, a local pharmacy you can trust. Back to Health Chiropractic is the leading chiropractor serving Manchester and surrounding areas since 1984. They offer services like massage therapy, chiropractic, sports injuries, in-house x-rays, and more. Good luck from Back to Health Chiropractic in Manchester. Del Clay Farm Equipment is your hometown equipment dealer in Edgewood. Del Clay Farm Equipment has preventative service programs with guaranteed prices with a 49-point inspection available. Check them out at delclay.com. Hauser's Water Systems is proud to support all area athletes and coaching staff and wish them continued success. Hauser's Water Systems is your supplier for rippling spring water. Need softener salt or a water unit? Hauser's Water Systems in Manchester. Baron Motor Supply, proud to support all area athletes and coaching staff. They appreciate all their hard work and dedication in and out of the classroom. Good luck from Baron Motor Supply in Manchester, your auto parts professional since 1930. For all your residential and commercial plumbing, heating, and electrical needs, call Meyer Mechanical in Dyersville. Meyer Mechanical, wishing all area athletes and coaching staff in tournament action continued success. East Buchanan Telephone Co-op in Winthrop are proud to support the East Buchanan athletes and all area athletes and wish them continued success. East Buchanan Telephone Co-op, your total communication source in Winthrop. Call 319-935-3011. 
Contact me, Chad Frazier, at BC Land Services in Earlville for all your maintenance projects such as tree removal and trimming, small dirt work projects, lawn seeding, and more. BC Land Services is fully insured and licensed. Contact me at 563-590-8074 or on Facebook. And best of luck to all area athletes and coaches. River's Edge Construction wish all area athletes the best of luck in tournament action. If construction plans are in your future, call Lyle Palmer at 563-920-0046. River's Edge Construction can help you with your residential and commercial new construction and remodeling plans. Call River's Edge Construction in Manchester at 563-920-0046. Pleasanter Sanitation are taking new customers for both commercial and residential properties. If you need a large dumpster or container for new construction projects and a roll-off, Call Kleesner Sanitation at 927-5977. Good luck from Kleesner Sanitation. Since 1995, Edgewood Feed Mill Construction has provided customers with a quality, pre-engineered building package for their swine facility needs. Edgewood Feed Mill Construction is a general contractor and will assist you with the construction of your livestock facility start to finish. For more information on Edgewood Feed Mill Construction, contact Steve Harris at 563-920-7835. Ellis Implement and Outdoors in Coggin is your local supplier for farm equipment and outdoor power. Offering parts, sales, and service since 1937, Ellis Implement and Outdoor wish all area athletes and coaches the best of luck. Steve Moyle Masonry has lowered his prices on new home or remodel construction of brick, block, and stone because he's back out in the field with his hands-on expertise. Call Steve at Moyle Masonry for free estimates and competitive pricing. Steve Moyle Masonry in Manchester, where quality is what they are all about. This is Fred Smock from Dunlap Motors and Independence with Chevy, Buick, and certified pre-owned Chevy, Buick, and GMC. And nearly 300 new and used cars and trucks in stock. We have big town inventory with small town service. Go to DunlapMotorsIndy.com. Gary's Towing. For 24-hour towing, call Gary's Towing in Strawberry Point in Manchester. Your complete towing service. Gary's Towing can handle all of your wrecker and flatbed needs and is AAA certified. Gary's Towing with locations in Strawberry Point and Manchester. Wish all area athletes the best in tournament action. At Precision Collision, we are committed to providing you with high-quality auto body repair and paint refinishing. Our expertly trained technicians can repair all accidental damage and get you back on the road in no time. Come visit me, Jeff, for a free estimate. We are located along Highway 20 at the Delaware Turnoff. Precision Collision. One call does it all. Quality guaranteed. Looking for a place to gather with family and friends? Your look is over. Gather your family and friends and head to the Hillside Sports Bar and Grill. Join them for some great food and sports before, during, or after the games. Best of luck from everyone at the Hillside Sports Bar and Grill. For the best selection of Chevy, Buick, and GMCs in the area, see Bob Stephen Motors in Manchester. We offer straightforward pricing and carry a low overhead, so we can pass those savings on to you. We also take care of you after the sale and offer a state-of-the-art service department with ASE trained technicians. For a full list of our inventory, visit us on the web at bobstephenmotors.com. Bi County Disposal Incorporated specializes in commercial and construction disposal needs. They have a variety of containers available from 2 to 30 cubic yards. Whatever it takes, Bi County Disposal Incorporated in Dyersville, serving Dubuque and Delaware counties. Easy Pickens, Quick and Handy, and McDermott Oil wish all area athletes and coaching staff continued success in tournament action. Stop into one of their stores for delicious Godfather's Pizza. Good luck from everyone at Easy Pickens in Manchester, Quick and Handy in Dyersville, Lamont and Epworth, and McDermott Oil in Cascade. Pete Small Engine Repair are proud to support all the area athletes in tournament action. For all your small engine purchases, repairs, and rebuilds, call the small engine experts. Pete's Small Engine Repair. Congratulations from Pete's Small Engine Repair in Monticello. When it comes to financial planning, most financial companies focus on your income. At Northwestern Mutual, we focus on your outcome. It takes the right financial partner who cares as much about your future as you do, building a financial plan to meet your life's priorities and helping you achieve the financial security you're after. Focus on your financial outcome with Northwestern Mutual. Contact me, Mitch Payton, or Matt Schulte today. You and Northwestern Mutual, stronger together. Back in to the Wells Fargo Arena. Quentin Reckhammer up on mat number four for Northland. He's taking on Jim Moss from Woodbury Central Mobile. Moville, excuse me. So Reckhammer, quite a break there from 52 to set, or 82. Didn't think it would take that long. But we are back now for our final match. And then we will have quite a bit of, more of a 20-minute break. 
as we will, uh, our next wrestleback will be, our consolation match will be at 120. So, but Quentin Reckham are up on Matt one, or Matt four, excuse me. Well, Jamie and Zach, looking at Moss's record, he's wrestled 58 matches, 43 and 15. That is a lot of matches coming into the state tournament, and that's without his three that he wrestled yesterday. And, and I don't know, uh, don't know how he fared yesterday, but that's a lot of matches uh, in the course of the season. The recommend out, looking at two on one on the right side of Moss, and off the edge of the mat they go. So right back to the center. Tell you what, that very stout-looking Reckmer out on the mat, taking on another very stout-looking Jim Moss from Woodbury Central. So a couple of good ones here at weight class 182. At the top of the bracket, the winner of this match will take on either Logan Schumacher from Martinsville St. Mary or Ethan Alley from Bell Plain. That'll be uh, Schumacher. He won by fall. Okay. <clears throat> Schumacher is 48, now 49-0. and 0. So a tough matchup for whoever comes out of this duel right here, and hopefully it's uh, Reckmer from North Wind. <clears throat> you got a one counting, a lot of hand fighting going on. Reckmer with hand control on the right wrist, now snapped down by Moss. Reckmer does a good job keeping keeping control of the right elbow of Moss, so Moss could not finish the finish the go behind. Back to uh, standing position, a front headlock and a snap by Moss. Coach Cooper a little bit upset there. Uh, wants a little bit more from his junior. Picking up the pace a little bit. 39 seconds left to go. Neither uh, wrestler has had a leg attack so far. A lot of upper body, a lot of pummeling, a lot of pushing and pulling, a lot of collar ties, a lot of reties. There's a flyby by Moss trying to get the corner on on the Reckimer. He does. He's behind Reckimer. Now a lift and return. There's Moss with a two-point takedown as he hit that flyby. It was Cat Quick with it, and uh, Reckermer almost had his hand split, uh, but Moss got the lift and return, so he'll get the scoreboard first with the two-point takedown. 18 seconds left to go in period number one. Here comes Moss with a hard cross face over the top of Reckermer. Reckermer now with the stand-up. Moss is going to put a cross body right in. Reckermer is going to split the hands with seven seconds left, and, and uh Turn to face Moss for a one-point escape. And that's well, huge, getting that escape at the end of the period there, cutting that lead in half. Is, you could easily just kind of went into the second period down 2 nothing, but picks up the escape and makes it 2-1. to one. It'll be Reckmer's choice, and he's going to choose down so he can come right back to his feet and tie this thing up. Moss looks like he likes the legs, and he uh, tried to cross-face cradle on Reckmer, so see what happens on the restart. There's a nice stand-up by Reckmer to his feet. So he's put the hands on Moss and pops his hip. He'll pick up a one-point escape. He'll tie it up at Deuces with 149 left to go. So fancy footwork and great hand control by Quentin Reckmer tied this thing up. And a long double shot by Reckmer is going to drive Moss off the edge of the mat. That gets a, that gets a stand and a clap from uh, Coach Henderson in the linked corner. 137, back to neutral we go. Two escapes for Reckmer. A takedown for Moss. And now Reckmer going to work on a two-on-one. He's got the right arm of, of Jim Moss tied up with a two-on-one. Moss has a collar try, trying to push the head of Reckmer away. Now an underhook by Moss is going to lift Reckmer up out of position. And Moss is going to shove Reckmer out off the edge of the mat. So back to the middle we go. Nice elbow pass attempt by Reckmer. And now Ross is going to back out of it. Just came up short with the shot. Right I did. Just came up short. A snap and a spin by Moss. Reckmer showing some fancy footwork there. He's going to turn and face Moss off. No points there. Back to neutral. Still 2-2. Two to two. 59 seconds left to go in period number two. It was Moss's choice. He deferred over to Reckmer. So it'll be Moss's choice when we go to the third period. Double pass by Moss. Reckmer will face him off. It's 2-2 two to two up on the scoreboard. No, no low-level shots that have hit the mark here. Moss scored with a slide-by and a lift in return. Reckmer did have a nice double off the edge of the mat. There's a stamp by Moss. Reshot by Reckmer. Again, neither shot hits the mark. 
24 seconds left to go. Both these guys can sit on hand fighting and going upper body, Zach. Basically, yeah, that, and then it's just a little bit of, like, we call them knee slap shots. You know, they're just trying to hit, you know, like little half shots. And other than that, just a lot of pummeling up top. And so, like to see get down low and, and really try to explode through those hits. Well, that's going to do it for period two. It's still tied up at two to two. And now it's going to be Moss's choice. So, got to have a tough ride here if you're Quentin Reckermer. Coach Henderson and Coach, Coach Kufel, very demonstrative there in the corner, urging there, urging there, Junior, to get after it here and look for an elbow to control. So Moss will get set. Reckimer will ride the left side. There's the whistle. Hard chop by Reckimer with the right, trying to dig an inside wrist with the left. Inside stand-up by Moss. He's going to score one point on the escape, and we are going back to neutral as Moss takes the lead again by one, three to two. Coach Henderson up now, offering some encouragement. Reckimer's done a nice job tying up the right side with that two-on-one, but he hasn't uh, has been able to use it as a setup for a takedown. Hard collar tie by Moss with the left. Retie now by Reckimer. And Moss is going to back out. Reckimer will come back in and try to set the two, two-on-one as a snap and spin attempt by Moss. Now a nice shot by Reckimer, but off the edge of the mat. Got to make that shot count in the middle. Nice shot by Quentin Reckimer. Got in on the left knee of Moss. And it was just off the edge of the mat, so no point. 117 and counting. 3-2. to two. Quentin Reckimer is going to have to pull the trigger here as this thing starts to go under a minute. I'm under a minute left to go in this match. Neither wrestler's been warned for stalling. And uh, Moss just content to tie up. He's got the lead. He's just content to tie up and go inside position on Reckimer. And Reckimer now a sweep single. He's in deep on Moss. Can't sit. Moss in a down block. Hips heavy on the top uh, on the top of the head of Quentin Reckimer. Now a go behind attempt by Moss. And he's going to shove Quentin Reckimer free. Almost looks like he had a two-point takedown. And he's rather go back up on his feet with 34 seconds left to go. So a great shot by Reckimer. And again, Jamie, you called it. He sat on it. He got in, but he sat with it. Yeah, and you got to once you get in there, you got to keep, you got to blast through and come right back up to your feet. He didn't do that, so he's only got 25 seconds here uh, to try to hit another shot and take advantage of it, trailing three to two. Moss now in a forehead to forehead block off. There's a low single shot by Reckimer, front headlock by Moss, and now Moss will get warned for stalling with 12 seconds left. So if you're quitting Reckimer, you got. Dive in a couple shots here. Get Moss backing up, and you may get a stalling call to tie this up. A long shot by Reckimer. He's in deep on the single. Seven seconds. Moss in a down block over the top of Reckimer. Got to get a quick stalemate here, and they kept the clock running. The referee's going to put three seconds back on the clock. Still plenty of time. Reckimer in on another beautiful single, but he sat with it, and that gave Moss time time to react to it. There's a long shot, and that's going to do it right there. Reckimer had the right idea. Just a little bit too late, Jamie. Start that at the start of the period, and you might have you might have an opportunity to win the match. Or if anything, get some stalling calls out of it rather than right at the end. So uh, wasn't able to take advantage of that, and he's going to bump to the backside. He's going to take on Ethan Alley of Bell Plain in the consolation match coming back. So. Reckimer's still got another match yet to try to stay in the tournament. So let's recap our wrestlers before we take a break here. As, uh, it'll be a little bit longer break. As uh, we started at 113, Heath Moyer of North Lynn with a 9-6 to win over Jacob Whittinger of Nashville Plainfield. Tomorrow in the quarterfinals, he'll take on Trey Ellen of Mount Air. At 120 pounds, Kale Happen- Apple of Wisdom with a 19 to 4 tech fall over Uvaldo Camarillo of Postville. Apple will now take on Casey Baker of Interstate 35 Truro in the quarterfinals. Parker Sternhagen, we'll see him yet tonight. He lost 7 to 2 in the first round to Seth Thompson of English Valley's North English. We'll see him back here against Bryce Captain from Maple Valley Antonoto. Later tonight, 126 pounds. Nolan Noonan of Cascade with an 8-4 win over Trey Shuck 
of Sibley O'Cheaton. Tomorrow he will take on Kobe Siebert of Lisbon in the quarterfinals. 126, Mitchell Hayes of Starmont losing 5-2 to two in the first round to Jacob McBride, McBride of Newman Catholic. He will come back and take on Tay Van Dyne of Wayne Corden. A 132 pounds, Brady Henderson of Northland with a 3-2 to two win over Ryan Moorfield of Lisbon. Tomorrow in the quarters, Henderson will take on Blake Abrahamson of Okaboji. 138 pounds, Max McGraw of East Buchanan with a 6-3 to three loss to Zach Willey of Interstate 35 Truro. We'll see McGraw later tonight taking on Marvin Hildreth of West Monona Whitting. 145, Chance Downs, a 6-4 to four overtime winner over Bryson Freeberg of Tri-Center. Tomorrow in the quarterfinals, Downs will take on Garrett Thompson of Logan Magnolia. Also at 145, Braden Nunemaker with an injury, winning by injury default over Nate Briggs of Bedford Lennox. In the quarters tomorrow, he'll take on Wade Mitchell of Woodbury Central Mobile. 152 pounds, Gillian Welsh of Edco, losing by fall in 534 to Saxon Lyman of Eagle Grove. We'll see Welsh again tonight taking on Drew Ventiger of Bedford Lennox. At 182 pounds, Quentin Reckimer of Northland losing 3-2 to two to Jim Moss of Woodbury Central Mobile. Reckimer will take on Ethan Alley of Bell Plain tonight in the consolation round. So we're going to take a break. It'll be a little bit longer break as our first wrestler is not until Parker Sternhagen at 120. So stay with us. We'll be.